horrible news, guys. I'm still alive and making videos again. Uh, for this time, I really just want to explain what's been going on, uh, stuff like that. Uh, why I haven't been doing a lot of videos, and I, I guess get into what I have actually been doing, because there's been quite a few behind-the-scenes stuff that... Because uh, I have been working on stuff, I, I just haven't been doing any videos on it. Should be another one. For starters, I guess. Um, I mentioned before, but never really in great detail. Uh, working as a cook right now. Um, those kinds of jobs tend to suck. Like, I needed a break from what I was doing before, uh, and, and, and it's, it's fine. I've cooked plenty of times before. Um, actually, at this point, right now, I have more years in cooking than I do in medicine, which is kind of weird to think about, but um, just because I got back into it, I, that's how that went. And, um... They tend to suck, not really because of the work itself, at least not for me. Uh, some people don't handle stress well, but then they tend to just not stay in that line of work. Uh, I don't really get stressed out by the large amount of work. I, I mean, it, sometimes it, it gets to me, but uh, generally speaking, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, what does, however, and the other problem that basically anybody who's cooked professionally will know about. Drama at certain places tends to be pretty bad, and this is because most of your waitresses, most of your bartenders are going to be uh, women, especially younger women, and... I do got to be careful with that because it's not like every single one of them is like that. I, I, I'm definitely not saying that. Um, I'm remembering that wrong. What I am getting at, though, is that if you take a large number of what's basically like 18-year-old shit what's basically 18-year-old girls uh, together in a place, they're still going to be treating a lot of things very similarly to uh, high school. And unless they're all good, close friends, which they're not going to be, you're, you're going to get drama. Um, really doesn't help that one of the people there who is actually the oldest female there it seems to be quite the drama queen as well, so I think she really uh, encourages it from the girls. Um, she's a drama queen on the level of trying to drag other people who aren't even uh, trying to get involved in it into it. And so I've repeatedly found myself in stupid shit. Uh, fuck. That I always manage to uh, come out on top of, but it does still get incredibly obnoxious. Inevitably, every single time I wind up dealing with this drama, it takes away from time that I would be spending doing other things outside of work. So, <clears throat> largely for that reason, and just some other stuff, 
Um, I am looking for a different line of work. Uh, looking at what else is out there. It's not so bad that, you know, like, quit immediately, but it's just one of those things where, like, I'm, I'm not the kind of person for drama. I, I have better things to do. Shit. So, rather than be one of those people who fake doesn't like drama, I, I'm not gonna just sit there and pretend I don't like it while also constantly exacerbating shit with this person. I'm just largely done with it. Uh, further worsening things is that the um, the girl I said I liked um, over the course of really just a few weeks after I mentioned that uh, it wasn't that I mean that was a while ago that I had said that um It became rather apparent that while she's got a few traits that I definitely do look for in a partner, she's also got a few traits that I definitely do not want in a partner. And that's okay. You, you know, she she's otherwise a pretty good person. Uh, definitely seems to be one of the few genuine ones there. And it's generally pretty pleasant to be around. So... You know, you, you just stay friends with the person. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that as any kind of bad thing. I'm not down about that. Like, it's it's okay. Not everything works out. Um, where the actual issue with this comes into play is her boyfriend is delightfully insecure. Uh, I mean, we're talking like roast video level of insecure because there's a lot that could be said about it. Uh, I, I don't really want to get into it that much. Uh, this this really isn't that kind of channel. Um, I pulled that lever. What the fuck? There we go. But. Um, Yeah, he's, he's insecure to the point where he can't even tolerate a uh, guy just being friends with this girl. Which is just... I don't feel bad for her. He's the one who cheated on her, and yet he's super worried about her doing shit. But I can tell you right now, she's not the kind of girl to cheat. Uh, she'd leave him before she cheated. But... Uh, I feel like if she probably, if she didn't have the table, then she probably would wind up leaving, but I, I, I don't, I don't know. All I can say for sure is that he's definitely been the reason why she's cried quite a few times. Again, though, I'm not saying she's completely innocent in the situation. Uh, the same reasons why I decided not to do anything with her could very well be the same reason why they are having some problems. That would not surprise me at all, either.
probably should have looked at that. I forgot I had the randomizer on, and uh, I don't know what I just picked up. That's brilliant. So, uh, back to back to what I was saying. Another thing that has been um, taking away from my time. I, I think that's probably the best way to put it. Is that my sister has developed? Well, has developed self awareness. I guess would be a good way to put it. But she's finally really admitted to the fact that she's an alcoholic and um, rehab and stuff like that. Uh, the family largely disowned her because I'm from a great family like that. Overly focuses on image and not actually uh, dealing with anything. So, yeah. As as a result, yeah, um, I've been the one dealing with a lot of that. <clears throat> um, on the upside, however, uh. I haven't completely stopped doing development. In fact, I've kind of been focusing more on development than I have on um, focusing more on development than I have on on, on videos. Because uh, I can always make the videos later, and that's basically what I'm what I'm going to be doing soon. The VS Code extension for Ida has gotten some uh, some enhancements. Um, at this point, considering it largely does everything it's supposed to, it's basically just continuously tracking down these little issues. Uh, I've gotten quite a few of them done, but there's there's still more. You know, Ida's a definitely a complicated language, so there's a lot of a lot of those I need to track down. Shit. I aggro them all. And, um... Yeah, so that's gotten that's gotten some progress. Uh, that did manage to hit over ten thousand total downloads recently, and right about oh shit, right about that time, Microsoft did finally make it so that you can see how many actual unique installs that is, not just downloads. Uh, they were sort of giving the wrong impression before, and I it, it's. Nice that they separated the two. Are you gonna get poisoned? Maybe I'm gonna get poisoned. Oh shit. The Ad, as far as the Ada Tools project goes, it's it is going um, more than anything else. I have been doing uh, 
I've still been doing back-end stuff. Uh, essentially, in the most abstract sense, things work the way I want, but there's regular bugs, there's regular little issues, and what I've been doing for, I mean, several months now is fixing all of that. So, as far as features, as far as anything to present goes, nothing's really changing, but it, it's going from, like, really buggy beta release to something that actually works. So, it's, it is, uh... They are pretty big, important changes. They just don't... There's nothing to really show off. Um, as far as I can tell, there is only one more major bug in the United Tools library that's preventing a beta release of the tools themselves. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it on YouTube. I know I did make a post to Reddit that had this in there, though. Um, the Added Tools library is in a beta release and is packaged up on Nougat. Uh, there have been several revisions of it that I've made, and yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that's a thing that people can play around with. Um, probably not going to be releasing the, uh, the tools themselves for a while. Like I said, I, I've got to, uh, I've got to track down a problem, and it's, it's been a problem for a while. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to get it fixed. Uh, I, I will figure it out, but it's just giving me quite a bit of trouble. Usually, usually it just takes me a few hours to track down a problem regardless of what it is with this one. This one's definitely been giving me a lot of difficulty. Um, basically what's happening is that the... Oh, excuse me. Is that the build order is out of order. Uh, it's largely correct, and for most projects it is correct, but if the I'm gonna get poisoned again. If there are package units that their name comes alphabetically before generics, and they depend on a generics package, there is a good possibility, but not a certainty, that the build plan will have the generics package after the one that depends on it, which is the wrong order. But I, you notice I said uh, possibility, not a certainty, because there are actually times where the generics package will be after it like it's supposed to be. Or but rather, before it, like it's supposed to be. Sorry, sorry. And, um... It's really messing with things. So, yeah, I, I... Looking into a good, proper fix for that. Uh, I could potentially just force all packages that start with generics to be built first, uh, since they would arguably need to be, but the simple reality is it's more complicated than that, and I do not want to enforce that as a hard requirement on the way generics are supposed to work. 
Um, I want it to be much looser than that. Plus, the fact that this issue happens at all kind of indicates that it would happen in a project with other alphabetical, out-of-order name, however you want to describe that, that it could happen with other projects, and just simply pushing generic packages to always be built before doesn't actually solve that problem. That would be a, a very hacky solution, and I don't want to do that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, once once that is done, as far as I can tell, everything should work enough for a beta release. Uh, that obviously does not mean that everything will be working fine and dandy. There should be plenty of uh, problems, but it should work in most cases. There is one feature that definitely needs to be implemented for me to be able to build all of my projects, which of course is something that I want to do, and something that is holding it from being anything more than a beta release. That is the ability to build variants. Um, most of my projects at this point do not have variants in them, uh, but there are intentions of that. And there should be another one somewhere. The um <clears throat> Mathematics package, for example. Well, the, the, the entire project, that is. I... I've already written a version of that before that does a lot of uh, assembly code specific stuff on certain processor types, and that would inevitably be a variant. Uh, the project that is up on GitHub is the rewrite, which fixes a lot of things and just generally improves the whole thing. Um, I have not gotten around to rewriting the specific stuff. What are you doing? Uh, so it's not that visible in a project like that. However, the, um, the console project actually has a Windows-specific version of it where I fix uh, some of the uh, output stuff so that there isn't Mojibaka, and that's, you know, that's that's important, and you want to be able to use the Windows variant uh, when you're actually on Windows. <clears throat> so, yeah, that that is inevitably something I still need to uh, to do. Um, but it's not a hard requirement, really. I, I can do the beta release without that, and then just update the beta when, when that feature is implemented. Uh, as for plans really beyond that, I am sort of working on the, um, on actually building up package repos. Uh, I've been adding a little bit to a new tool called Add a Repo, uh, which you may have seen in the GitHub repository. Uh, it's it's largely empty at this point. It doesn't really do much of anything. But it is... That's what I was looking for. But it is there. Uh, it, I am slowly adding stuff. Uh, I've also got a publish command. I think I put it with the Add a Package tool just because I'm thinking syntactically it, you publish a package. I mean, you could do the add a repo and then pub, like publish and then specify the package. Yeah, I, I, that's just where I decided to put it.
and uh, Once the repositories themselves are working correctly, the next step would be to develop the actual package server. Uh, given the fact that I am on Windows, primarily, and the fact that servers do not work anywhere near close to the same on Windows as they do on Unix systems, where they're called daemons, I am going to be doing a Windows service first, and then write a Unix daemon after. Uh, this isn't just because of my own personal preferences, this is also because I am hosting these packages, and understandably I, I need to have the service work on the platform that I am using. I'm still not sure on the distribution method. I am leaning heavily towards torrents, but I have never programmed without them before, so I am not sure how well that will work. We got the worst one. Get away from me. Holy shit. Can you not? To be fair, though, I really don't want to uh, run the package server primarily on Windows. Uh, I would like to build up a dedicated server for this kind of stuff. Because uh, right now I'm testing all the Linux stuff, uh, the Linux compatibility and everything uh, in a VM. And I would really like to have a dedicated server both to test that on, obviously in... Uh, isolated environment, not on the actual, like, thing itself. Uh, do, like, a Linux on Linux situation or something to isolate it safely. Uh, but, but, I do, um, I do want to have a dedicated package server up where the packages uh, would be hosted on uh, on Linux or a BSD or something, you know, not Windows, 
uh, so a package server daemon is definitely coming. But yeah, like like I, like I was saying, I am thinking probably torrents would be the best way to go about it. Uh, not even just because it would lighten the load on me, but because also uh, it allows package updates to propagate much more efficiently through a business where you have, you know, the, the initial machine downloads uh, from some outside source, but once it has the thing, one machine in the business can download directly from that, which is much faster, then two machines can download directly from those, four machines download directly from those, and it propagates very rapidly. This is considerably better than uh, each one downloading from one external source. So yeah, anyways, I, I should be doing, uh, should be back to my more regular videos, uh, Thursday or Friday. Uh, we'll, we'll see what work is like on those days. Uh, those are my shorter days, though, so I, I tend to get out a little bit earlier. Um, we'll, we'll see. But, yeah, I'm not, I haven't left, I just had shit going on, I, I actually got some of the content for a video sort of done up. I just need to actually like sit down and record the, the, the you know do the last little bits that everybody sees but that uh, isn't actually that much of the stuff itself. Uh, so yeah I, I've got a video coming on Variant Records and until then have a good one guys.